Grumpy Hunter here. Welcome to Drop, Twist, Duck, and Roll, or How Much Speed Do I Need? Back in the 1960s, there was a slogan that said, Speed Kills. Now, they were actually talking about two things there, automobile speed and drugs. They definitely were not talking about crossbows or crossbow arrows. I'm going to take a look at seven arrow speed weight combinations and run it through a modified Death by Bungie Old Grumpy Hunter Joint Project reaction time calculator to see how far you can shoot before the deer has a chance to move and how far you can shoot before the deer can move eight inches. I'm going to be looking at the five crossbows in the old Grumpy Hunter and Death by Bungie family. I'll be looking at the 400 rule that was mentioned in Death by Bungie's latest book, Crossbow Method. And I'll be looking at one of the bows that Death by Bungie reviewed recently. Before I go any further, I have to mention, if you've watched any of my videos or many of Rich's videos or listened to podcasts, you know that Rich and I are friends, and that's why I pick on his crossbows as well as my own. I got five very handy ones. I'll be using the stock arrow weights and the stated speeds from the crossbow manufacturers, except for my Barnett recurve, which did not come with any stock arrows, so the arrow weights have reduced it a little bit in speed. It's not a speed demon to begin with. The results from the calculator, I'll be looking in both the green and the yellow sections. As I mentioned before, I modified this calculator. It's not available online, so I can look at one yard increments out to 120 yards. This video is inspired by Death by Bungie podcast, Jumping the String, and by Death by Bungie's video, Jumping the String, Research and Improving crossbow hunting success. Links to both the podcast and the video will be in the video description. What I'm trying to show is the relationship between initial speed and how far the arrow can travel before a deer, a whitetail, which is the most hunted animal in the United States, has a chance to move. I'm also going to look at the rule of thumb that was mentioned in Rich's interview with Darren Cummings where he stated that your maximum distance is one-tenth your initial speed. For example, 350 feet per second equals 35 yards. Mr. Cummings is a mechanical engineer, and he's worked with Dr. Grant Woods on Growing TV multiple times. This is his rule of thumb, not mine. The results from the reaction time calculator are based on gravity's force, is about 32 feet per second per second squared, the speed of sound, which is a little over 1,125 feet per second, and the deer's reaction time to a sound is approximately 0 0.1 second. Just for last, let's take a look at Barnett, my recurve inexpensive crossbow. It did not come with arrows, so the arrows I bought are heavier than the stock arrows, and it's shooting at 225 feet per second with a 428 grain arrow. It can get out to about nine yards before the deer has a chance to move. At 19 yards, the deer can move two inches, or drop two inches, will drop almost eight inches at 28 yards. I've not hunted deer with this crossbow, but I have hunted pigs at 28 yards. Thank goodness, pigs do not have the ninja skills that the deer have. Let's take a look at the original OB shooting at a 305 feet per second with a 350 grain arrow. Multiple times, Rich has said that the OB is a 20 yard bow, although he's taken multiple deer beyond that distance. Bungie can reach out to 14 yards before a deer has a chance to move. 
20 yards, the deer may be able to drop a half an inch. And at 40 yards, the deer could drop 7.722 inches. Parker is rated at 350 feet per second with a 435 grain arrow. It can reach out to 17 yards before deer has a chance to move. At 20 yards, the deer might be able to drop 0.077 inches. At 48 yards, it can drop almost 7.5 inches. Bungie Jr. is rated at 355 feet per second with a 350 grain arrow. It can reach out to 17 yards before the deer has any chance to move. At 20 yards, the deer can drop approximately 7.07 inches. At 49 yards, the deer could drop 7.799 inches. Now let's take a look at Death by Bungie's 400 rule. That's 400 grains shooting at 400 feet per second. We see here that the arrow can reach out to 20 yards before the deer has any chance of movement. At 30 yards, the deer can drop just under a half an inch. At 58 yards, the deer can drop a little over seven and a half inches. Looking at bungee three, 420 feet per second, 370 grain arrow. The arrow can reach 21 or maybe even 23 yards without any noticeable movement by the deer. At 35 yards, the deer can drop just over three quarters of an inch. At 62 yards, the deer can drop 7.722 inches. The Scorpid Tremor XP460. This is one of the bows that Rich recently reviewed. At 460 feet per second with a 400 grain arrow, it has a flight time out to 25 yards of 0.166 seconds. The deer does not have a chance to move. At 40 yards, the deer can drop almost three quarters of an inch. This bow can reach out to 72 yards before the deer has a chance to drop 7.955 inches. Now, I've tossed a lot of numbers out at you, so maybe this will make it easier if we look at some tables. This table looks at the yardage for all bows, for the no movement yardage, and the yardage where the deer may drop almost 8 inches. As expected, as the initial speed goes up, both of these distances go up. In all results, that the 8 inch drop distance is about three times that of the no movement distance. When comparing Parker to Bungie Jr., and due to rounding, you can see that the no movement distance is the same, but the 8 inch distance Bungie Jr. pushes out an extra yard because of its extra 5 feet per second and shooting an arrow that weighs approximately 100 grains less. At this point, you may be asking, what is the flight times to the no movement distance? Looking at this table, we see that Barnett has the fastest flight time, but it's only going 9 yards, where the XP460 has the longest flight time, is only 0.047 seconds longer, but is traveling about 2.7 times farther. Now, you may have noticed that Bungie Jr. has a faster time than Parker. Well, again, it is shooting a lighter arrow and has that little five feet per second difference. This table shows the no movement distance, two inch drop distance, and almost eight inch drop distance. Note that the two inch distance is almost or approximately two times that of the no movement distance in all cases. As I said, I was going to use the rule of thumb about one-tenth of your initial speed equals your maximum yardage. For example, 350 feet per second equals 35 yards. Before everyone starts yelling at me, this is not my rule of thumb. I know many of you are going to want to comment on it, and many of you don't agree with it, and that's fine. When doing the math, there was some rounding involved, so three of the bows went up. For example, Barnett went from 22.8 yards to 23 yards. This table shows the flight time and the possible distance a deer can drop using that rule of thumb. Let's take a look at this from another angle. What is the minimum speed you need to reach a deer at a given yardage? 
Once again, the calculator uses the speed of sound, the force of gravity, and the deer's reaction time to get its results. I'm going to be looking at 10 to 50 yards in 5 yard increments. And this is with a 400 grain arrow. As you can see, for 10 yards you need 240 feet per second. For 15 yards you need 335 feet per second. For 20 yards you need 400 feet per second. For 25 yards you need 460 feet per second. 30 yards and above exceeds the maximum speed available at the time of this recording, which is 505 feet per second. For example, 30 yards, you need 520 feet per second. We're going to jump up to 673 feet per second to reach out to 50 yards before the deer can have any movement. Just for laughs, let's take a look at a bow shooting 500 feet per second with a 400 grain arrow, and then again with a 435 grain arrow. You can see from the results that the arrow reaches out just over 29 yards. When we compare the results side by side, you see that for the most part, the values are identical. A little recap here. 1. Deer have a reaction time of approximately 0 0.1 second. 2. Deer may or may not react to the sound of the shot. 3. Deer cannot grip the ground, but they can drop, twist, duck, and roll with the greatest of ease. And while doing that, they're loading up their limbs to take off. The faster the initial speed, the farther the distances where you can reach out and touch the deer before they have a chance to move. 5. The speed of sound is always faster than your arrow. One thing I didn't mention is speed comes with a cost. The fastest bow in the world right now has a suggested retail price ranging from 3000 $49.99 to $3,149.99. Hi, it's Clark here. Did you just watch another old Grumpy Hunter video? If you did then you must enjoy the more technical side of shooting and hunting. Then I know that you will be liking this video, subscribing to the channel, and clicking that notification bell.